Hey, this is Mark Henry, author of Dancing with Energy, Healing Magic and Mysticism, here to talk to you more about the occult and the paranormal. <clears throat> well, today I'm going to be talking about the god Pluto, and we'll talk a little bit about the planetary energy of Pluto. What we won't be talking about was we will not be talking about Mickey Mouse's dog, who is also known as Pluto, so that's kind of a separate video. So if we understand the metaphysics of Disney, that's not going to be talking about I'm not going to be talking about that here. So, uh, before I begin, again, I uh, just want to let you know that uh, uh, my Etsy store is uh, open and I'm adding new attunements for those of y'all who enjoy um, acquiring them and attuning themselves to um, different spirits. I just added Maman uh, to the store. So, if you, Maman is a uh, goetic uh, spirit so if you're interested in using uh, kind of a little bit of the darker energy for uh, wealth uh, finance and building and empower he is a particularly uh, powerful uh, entity so check that out of course I've also uh, added other things recently last month King Solomon Virgin Mary various other things uh, I'm also uh, in the next couple of days going to be <clears throat> doing an kind of an Easter sort of uh, discount for my store so any entity there that is connected with uh, Christianity uh, that they will have a, a discount so talking about um, Jesus Mary the Saints Saint Cyprian Saint Expedite and uh, the angels uh, so be sure to check that out but all that set aside let's go ahead and start today's video all right so who is Pluto so Pluto is a uh, powerful Roman god of the underworld his Greek counterpart is uh, Hades so what does Pluto rule he rules the underworld he rules death he rules wealth so why wealth? Well, if you look at the minerals of the earth, <clears throat> uh, you have uh, gold and silver and uh, various other things that are mined under the earth. Uh, you have the crops that grow uh, for our substance. So as Pluto rules the underworld and the earth, uh, this is what he is associated with. Uh, you can even look at some of our language and tell the influence of Pluto, like for example, the term plutocrat, which is someone who ex exercises their power uh, as defined by their wealth to influence people, influence uh, societies. So that's kind of like an oligarch. So plutocrat, plutocracy. Uh, in fact, the word Pluto means uh, giver of wealth. So, uh, as a side note, if you're looking at the Roman gods, what you have is pretty much a trinity. You have uh, Jupiter, who, which we mentioned, mentioned in a previous video. So he is the god of the sky. That's his rulership. Also connected with uh, wealth and expansion, bigness. <laughs> uh, then you have Neptune, who rules the sea. And then you have Pluto who rules the underworld. So those three brothers have kind of carved themselves out in their dominion and their rulership. So uh, when we're talking about Pluto as far as death and destruction, uh, when we talk about that theme, it reminds me of the tower card in the Rider Waite deck where you have the tower, the lightning coming down and people falling to their deaths that whole idea of the something dying away something going away in order for new something new to emerge usually something better now I have to say that I was um, a little bit concerned at one point uh, when uh, Russia invaded Ukraine because that was within two days of the Pluto return 
So I believe that uh, Russia invaded Ukraine on February 24th, and the Pluto return was on 2-22. Uh, if you're not familiar what a return is, uh, the easiest way to understand it is that on your birthday, that is a solar return. So that means that the sun was in a particular spot at the moment of your birth, and then one year later, it went back to the exact same spot in its orbit. It took one year. Now Pluto is so, the planet is so far away from us, it takes 240 something years to get to that point. So a Pluto return as measured by, you know, uh, as far as the United States, the signing of the Declaration of Independence came within two days of uh, Russia's invasion of Ukraine. So I was like, oh no, what's going to happen here? <laughs> we'll have to see. Um, at the same, in a couple of days later, Russia was threatening nuclear weapons against Ukraine and, you know, possibly the U.S., uh, which it was another level of this because what is it that is used, what substance is used to make nuclear weapons. One of the primary substance is plutonium. So that, uh, that was something that I was looking at. I said, okay, so this is this is lining up to be something possibly not so good. Um, but that aside, let's talk about what are the uses for uh, Pluto. What exactly can, if you were to evoke, invoke, get an attunement to Pluto, uh, what exactly, uh, what would be the benefits or areas you could work on. One I kind of mentioned already is um, prosperity and abundance, <clears throat> especially when we're talking about the underworld, that is met also metaphorically for the deeper parts of you. So um, you could actually use Pluto to summon your internal resources to save money, for example, because, you know, the inter minerals and everything collect within the earth, or you can gather your in internal self, internal resources to come up with creative ideas for wealth enhancement. Uh, also, number two would be uh, acceptance of death and uh, removing the fear of death. Uh, many people are afraid of of that. Um, I would imagine that even something like if you were grieving or loss of a loved one, Pluto and his energy might be something that can kind of soothe you. Um, can become a better understanding of that press and that uh, particular issue in the process of life. And no one's ever actually I never actually read this or anything. But I kind of get the sense that if you were dealing with something that had to do with money, because we talked about wealth and death at the same time, that that would be a particular issue that Pluto could help you with. I was thinking about um, inheritance through the loss of someone. And also, um, let's say you wanted to get a good uh, rate for life insurance, something like that that would cover both bases, both the connection between finances and death. A uh, third shadow work. So we're talking about inner transformation. After all, the underworld is a dark place and it takes darkness to understand darkness. So when you were trying to understand that your own sort of shadow self, Pluto would be a kind of a good guide for that. Now, when I have uh, summoned Pluto, he feels similar to uh, what I experienced when I work with um, Azrael. Azrael is the angel of death. Uh, it has that um, stillness, that peacefulness. The same type of peacefulness and stillness that you may experience for yourself when, let's say, you go to a graveyard. Or maybe a, um, a deep sleep. 
Now, some people, when they go to graveyards, they get a little bit of a creepy feeling. And that, I think, is something that could come along with uh, Pluto. So, uh, that is the basics of Pluto and his dominion. Uh, let me know if you have any comments or questions. Uh, please subscribe and like. And if you want to work with Pluto, um, I think that he's a good energy to work with. I also offer that as an attunement. Uh, but you certainly don't need an attunement. You can kind of uh, work with him and other magical means okay and if you um, are interested you can certainly check out my patreon where I put um, videos and extra videos and offer different benefits for people um, who uh, want more than this channel uh, can offer okay I will see you in a future video you enjoy the rest of your weekend and I'll see you later bye bye